Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the August League Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's part. Uh, this is funny. <laughs> I don't know if y'all watched yesterday's video or this morning's video for me because I, uh, I could have got to bed too late. But, um, but we had, what was it? Game of 21, I think. 21 game. Um, whatever it is, uh, blackjack really. Um, yeah. Uh, the funny thing is that I was like, oh, I can I, I, when I looked at the title, I was thinking of the 24 game, but yeah, and this is the 24 game. So yeah. Um, the quick answer is that, um, there are only four cards, so you can boot force really. That, that's the entire, uh, thing you have to do with this one is boot force. I forget the exact combinatorics. Um, because basically there's four factorial, right, for the order. I guess we could figure it out. It's four factorial for the ordering. That's that's not that much. That's like twenty-four. Huh, wait, coincidental actually. Anyway, four factorial for the four ordering of the numbers. Um and then there are three operations in between, right? Uh and three operations oh so yeah, three operators no, is it? Huh. Because you have parents too, right? Well the parents just makes it so that it's the Catalan number, right? So, um, I forget what the third Catalan number or fourth Catalan number is. I would Google it, I guess. I used to know the Catalan numbers by, by, uh, uh, I, I, I bet I, if I see it, I'll, I'll know it, but, um, 14, yeah, it's like 1, 4, 14, 30, um, or 1, 2, 5, 14, 42, 132 or something. But anyway, you can look it up. It, it's just what, you know, it's just like a uh, different rates of parentheses, etc. Um, and as a result, um, I forgot what I say. But I say, did I say fourteen or four? it's either fourteen or forty-two. Um, I always forget. Like off by one, it it, it grows kind of thing, right? So um, in any case, and then is this? Uh, I, it's probably not fourteen with, with four numbers. It's probably 42, I'm going to say, just the combinations. So that's like 4 factorial times this. Oops. 4 factorial times this times like uh, the operators, right? Which is going to be 3 to the... Uh, or 4 operators um, in 3 places, right? So that's basically the brute force and you have to be just very careful. Um, yeah, that's basically the idea. Um, it's fast enough. But you, like I said, you have to be, uh, 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 yeah, you have, you have to make sure that it isn't a good price. In any case, all right, let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the way that I always write it is just that I just have a, um, I've been calling things go just because why not? I don't know. Right? Um, because, I mean, you can name it slightly, uh, I don't know. I'm just really bad at naming, I think. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we'll focus on that for now. And then the idea is that if, okay, if length of cards is equal to 1, um, then return whether, technically you want to return whether this is true, but we actually just want a global state, right? Maybe uh, found is equal to false, and here we'll, we'll uh, if someone like this, then found is equal to true. Uh, non local uh, found return right and then also just if we already found it we just return so it's like an early branching or if you're in the middle of a for loop then it just you know uh, uh, kind of does that kind of thing right um, yeah and then now um, Yeah, and then now it's just about the Catalan combination, which can be tricky. But the way that I always write it is that I just take any two numbers. Um, remember, they don't wait. Uh, actually, maybe I'm describing. Uh, I have, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I hope I'm not wrong, but I didn't read the problem. I forgot to actually read the problem because some some people have variations on it, different pro or like different problem, but by. By what I mean by some people is that some problem writers have different variations on such. So like, actually, I should have looked, read the problem first. Let's see. For cards one to nine, you you should rearrange the numbers in the map to get twenty four. You restrict it. It's real division. Okay. Every operation is done between two numbers. Okay. Uh. Okay. 
you can I can count the numbers together. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure because I think there was a variation where like, I don't know, they still call it 24 because it's lead code or competitive programming in general, but you can only go from left to right and then that makes it a lot easier to program. I mean, complexity, you know, we have four numbers, it's not a big deal, right? But, um, but yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so then now I, I just, the way that I, I always write is that I just take any two numbers, right? So, do, 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 do. Uh, I plus one. We take any two cards. And then, yeah, and then we just kind of do recursion. We, we take them, we remove them from the array. And then, um... Uh, and then, yeah, we move them from the array, and then we just kind of, well, we curse, right? So how do I want to write that? In Python, it's so annoying. I mean, we can write something like, um, you know, C is equal, we know that J is after I, so you can maybe write something like, uh, so this skips I plus uh, cards of I, hmm. It's a little bit awkward if J is exactly I plus one, so yeah. Eh, maybe not, maybe it's fine. Uh, to J plus card sub J plus one, right? So this like removes these two cards, and then now um, maybe call it next, maybe next card, yeah, next card. And then maybe now you can you know go and end cards, but not yet, right? You want to actually write one of the four operators. Um, the division is a little bit awkward. You have to be careful. Hmm. I think the the clean way to do it is um, uh, use fractions. But eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But um, well, now you have like cuts of so A is equal to cuts of I, B is equal to cuts of J. Um, and also, I kind of did this in like a I, J thing, but, but that means that you have to go the other way around, right? I mean, for stuff like A plus B, then, you, you know, you don't have to, um, but because it's, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, commutative, right? Um, and I'm, uh, maybe you could write this in a cleaner way. Or you could, I know that people do use it for like, um, uh, um, like they use what's it called operators to kind of make this a little bit cleaner. Uh, for now, let's just keep it dumb and simple, right? So, uh, so you have this, right? And then now you have, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. but remember you have to go the other way. Um, uh, and then multiplication. And then what else? And then the division is kind of messy, right? Eh. All right, for now, because each number can only go up to nine, I'm going to YOLO and just use the, um, what do we call it? Um, well, the folding point one. We can change it later if we really need to. We'll be unhappy, but if we, if we need to, uh, yeah. And that's basically it, really. And then now you just go go of cards return found um, division by zero, of course I should have had. Well, I mean, it's a good thing that, uh, you know, yeah, uh, if B is not zero, and if A is not zero, clearly I'm, I'm not up to my facilities. Also want to take another nap. It looks okay, YOLO submit. I'm not surprised if it's wrong. Um, hmm. Well, why is this wrong? It's true. I'm, uh, I guess now we have to try to figure out how to play this game myself. Um, did I m miss anything? Hmm. Well, one, one operation, one recursion is to simulate this. Is that a that or maybe this end card is wrong? But we got a little bit lucky. Um, how do you... Mm, 72? No. How do you win this? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. How would I like? I'm trying trying to think how to play the game myself. Uh, Sixty four divided by nine. No, I mean I know three times eight is twenty four. 
what is the possibility, huh? Man, did I miss something? Hmm, that's a little bit unfortunate. So the answer is true. How? <sighs> hmm. Oh, this is pretty bad anyway. I should return no matter what. I mean, I don't think that, I mean, this does nothing when you're on one card, but it's still obviously suboptimal. Uh, or just like not safe. Uh, how do you, uh, three times three times no, uh, and how you get, uh, is there like a, should I cheat? Like, is there a, an AI app that does uh, the thing of her? Mm. Um. Hmm. Man, I'm trying to play the game. I guess is what I'm trying to do, but I, I'm kind of blanking out right now. Nine, maybe. Minus eight. No, I mean that's just eight. Uh. Oh, six. No. Hmm. Sixteen forty-eight. No. How? All right, I'm just gonna cheat in that like. Uh, a game of 24 online, right? Uh, or like Salva, yeah, okay. Okay, this, this, I, I clicked on the wrong one. It has like a, a crazy animation. Um, alright, uh, why, why, why is there no... Uh, I don't want to play it. I, I, I could do math in my head. I'm just trying to think. I just want someone to do it for me. Okay, what was it three three eight eight? Man, apparently I suck at everything. Sewer solution found. Did I misread this? I expect the true force. What? Is is this, is this website I found lying? Like, like actually. <laughs> All right, let's try four, one, eight, seven. No, it gives me a lot of solutions. Am I confused? I mean, I can come up with one, and am I not printing right or something weird? I'm so confused now. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit more and look at my O solution. Uh, not to look at it, but I, I just want to uh, run it. But notice that it's 70 out of 70, and then this one answers 70 out of So this is a new case that was not an old one, so even it might not even work. But what is the... Huh? Hmm. Huh. I mean, am I confused? Oh, there's a... Wow, I guess the, hmm. that is a crazy one. I don't know if I would get it, but uh, okay, fine. Maybe that it's just that our thing doesn't work. So I just Googled this specific one and it gives me this, which is probably right. But wow, I guess I don't have, I mean, what do I, uh, let, let, we could print it really. Uh, every combination just to kind of see um, right oh we don't even get that far oh no, no no we have to put it outside I mean otherwise it's just gonna work 24 or 0.24 do we just get like very close I didn't expect it to have like crazy numbers like this okay well 
Um, hmm. Let's say p is do, 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 do. p dot append quads of zero, right? Uh, what's it called? Print sorted set of p. I'm curious. <laughs> what like my solution? I mean, I guess this is why um it failed last time. But I mean, I think our code still works. Uh, it doesn't print it though. That's actually unfortunate. Um, hmm. Whatever, just print out numbers over 20. Oh my. Python or lab it. Right, 20, I mean, yeah, I guess, to, uh, I mean, I, I didn't consider, so our code is, maybe right but also maybe not i mean it's you know uh, what do you want to say right um i was just lazy uh we probably um could use fraction class uh, i guess let's do it i mean it's fine it's not that hard in python only because there's a class for it i think i'm googling fractions because I, I forgot how to use it um exactly uh yeah okay so then now we just have, is everything overloaded? I hope so. So yeah, so, um, hmm. So fraction of X for X in quads, maybe we get a list. Um, does that make it, uh, it's not, hmm. Did I, uh, did I get like chat GPT baited? I mean, it was a Google, so it wasn't even chat GPT, but what the, did I have my, oh, mm, from fractions import fraction. I guess it's just not a class lead code um, uses enough. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, easy fix. Maybe I could convince, I don't know if I'm, uh, I don't know. All right, let, let's just YOLO submit then. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal, but I, I cause you know, I was kind the code itself can't be that much. I, I, eh. I mean, we even called it out when right? I was like, eh, maybe it shouldn't be that bad. But I guess if you have like crazy things like this, it does get that bad. I was thinking more simple, but also that is ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't, I think, uh, I don't think in my, in my original one, I ever did something like subtracting fractions. Um, and I bet you that my old, and I'm curious if my old code would have been correct. What is this? Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I did float, it probably wasn't correct. Um, I, I mean, and this is a new test case, right? So I'm going to give it a spin. Uh, X range out. This is Python 2. How long ago was this? In 2019. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Uh, so it works in Python 2. Uh, why does it work in Python 2 and not Python 3? Hmm. All right, so J continue. Oh, I did it in both directions. So I don't have to write it manually both times. Uh, and I also return a lot of true instead of using a global state. Uh, oh, oh, I just did this, that's why. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but uh, today I am clearly not having a queen day, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let me go back to my actual code. Uh, I guess that's the Python 3 version. Uh, hmm. Can't go back somehow. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, eh, okay. I mean, we even kind of mentioned it, but uh, maybe I was just a little bit optimistic. Um, because usually for small numbers, it doesn't matter, but I guess when you do chain divisions, it, it adds up. Because I, I was just thinking like about dividing and then multiplying later. I didn't realize that there could be a crazy one like this where, um, yeah, with eight over multiple divisions. Anyway, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye. Have a great week, everybody. <laughs>